Esther, thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure. Oh, it's great to see you. It really is. How are you doing, first of all? Because you look fantastic. You look great. How are you? I've no idea. I had a major scan yesterday, but it takes ages for them to work out what it's showing, where it's showing it. So I'm in a state known as scanxiety, oh. which is between scans. I've, I have heard of that. I know that. Well, here's hoping, fingers crossed, for good news, Esther. I'll tell you what, this book... Love it. Older and bolder. Um, it's an A to Z of surviving almost anything, which I think is a great thing. As you would expect, it's really funny. It's also, as you also would expect, very wise. Um, why did you want to put all this down as an A to Z? Well, I was invited to by my lovely publisher. And the great thing about an A to Z, and I recommend all your viewers to do it and you to do it if you haven't already done it, Lorraine, is that as you break down all the things you now know due to your amazing life experience you can write long ones yes. or short ones yes you know you can say feet treasure them while you can still reach them <laughs> and that may be all you want to say yeah. but when it comes to child line or princess diana or whatever you can ramble on with all your anecdotes i have some important advice though two bits of important advice right. speaking of health one is under f for falls I've got F for F word too. That's quite <laughs> interesting because I was there when it was first said on television. And in those days, it was an event Ooh, these it days. Was. Anyway, but F for falls is important because you mustn't do it. As you get older, do not fall over. Exactly. Be for banisters, cling on to them. Exactly. That sort of thing. But You're the other great thing. Yeah, no, please tell me the, the other, other great, great thing. thing. Which I'm going to tell you well, quietly so that the doctors <laughs> can't hear you. But there was a very big longevity study. I think it was based in America. Thousands, hundreds of thousands of people. And they discovered that the people who live longest are slightly overweight. Really? Mm How? -hmm. Oh. Because they've, yeah, they've got reserves you can draw on, you see. So uh -huh. if you get pneumonia or whatever, you don't, you're not blown away in a puff of wind, you're still there. So I say, if you're wondering about that chocolate to cheer you up, eat it. Oh, now, listen, yes, you See, it's wise. unique moments like that. <laughs> mm. Well, they, that's why the book's so good, because I love your cure for grumpiness, is basically chocolate, sunshine and Billy Connolly. <laughs> of course it is. Absolutely, Abs absolutely. Mel Brooks also. Oh, yes. And for my generation, Tommy Cooper. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Again. But you do have to... Um... Sorry about the delay. Oh, I'm miles away from you. I'm in Don't the new worry. Forest. Don't worry at all. I know it's weird, okay. isn't it? It's like one of them calls when you're phoning somebody miles away. And it, but, but, no, it's, it's great. And what I love about you is... You push the boundaries, you're still pushing the boundaries. You did that as a producer and a presenter. And I don't think people appreciate how tough it was for a woman in particular to be in charge. So you did so many things first. Well, that's very sweet of you to say so. I, um, I, I did break a few rules, I think, probably. And I do say in the book, blessed are the rule breakers. <laughs> uh, for example, Princess Diana, she was a rule breaker, you know? She was taking the royal family into whole new territories. But the one rule she broke that she should never have broken, which was fasten a seatbelt. Ah, you know, in that yes. terrible crash in Paris, her, yes. her bodyguard survived. So if you're going to break rules, be careful about mm. the rules you break. That is extremely wise advice. Now, on That's Life, of course, you did you did rude vegetables, you did dog saying sausages, you got arrested. I mean, it was it was crazy. But you also did the most brilliant campaigning journalism. And, and we saw that with things like Childline. It, it was quite remarkable, the, the difference that you were able to make. Well, you see, we were... Um constantly reacting to what our viewers were telling us about their lives. That's why it was called That's Life. And uh, we learnt, I learnt from my late husband, Desmond Wilcox, who was trained on the Daily Mirror,
that a single case can sometimes tell you about a whole issue that needs investigating. For example, um, I think I do tell the story of the of the mum who got in touch with us because her toddler had just been very seriously hurt by falling off the bottom step of a slide onto what playgrounds were then surfaced with, which was concrete and tarmac. Mm. So we told that story and we asked why there couldn't be safe surfaces in playgrounds. I remember talking to a council officer who said, are you suggesting something like mud where they can make themselves filthy? I said, you mean play? Anyway, I stood in the studio, I don't know how many weeks, dropping china plates onto these wonderful new rubberized surfaces, showing that it shattered on concrete but bounced on the rubber surface. And parents were watching, and all over the country, school playgrounds were being dug up and replaced and so on. And that was yet another example, we were constantly finding this, of a single case leading to a massive issue being investigated. Exactly, and you did so, so much. I guess Childline must be one of the things that you are most proud of because that that has absolutely saved lives and helped so, so many children. It has, and I tell some of the stories, obviously. Um, but I, you say proud of, I can't... I think I was extremely lucky to have been in the right place at the right time. But I cannot feel proud about helping six million children because obviously I haven't done that. We've had generations of amazing staff and volunteers and children. And you know that 0800 1111 number is the only phone number that has remained unchanged for the last 35 years. Oh. BT has protected it and it stayed 0800 1111. Fantastic. Esther, the book is great. Older and Bolder. I love that, Older and Bolder. Um, it's an A to Z of surviving almost <laughs> anything. Um, you are, can I just say, really, from the heart, on behalf of, of every woman in particular who's working in the media today, you made it easier for us. You know, you pushed the boundaries, you burst that glass ceiling and you made it easier for all of us who followed you. So a huge thank you and stay well. And congratulations on all of you for your amazing achievements. Not only the women in television, there are a few men who do well too, <laughs> but especially the women. Well done. And oh. I'll do my best to do well. I'll Thank do my best. Thank you. Thank you, Esther. Good luck with everything.